No, I'm not going to download your stupid contact tracing app. What are you going to do? Make me? Hi guys, this is Andrew from Daily Rant Australia and I've already decided that I'm not going to download the Australian government's draconian attempt at monitoring its own citizens' movements. Why? Because I think liberty is more important than any benefit the app could bring. The app will be based off the Singapore government's Trace Together app. It essentially uses Bluetooth on your phone to monitor who you come in contact with, as long as they also have the app installed on their phone. The two apps will exchange anonymous IDs, which are then stored encrypted on the phones and apparently deleted after 21 days. For this to be effective, the Australian government have stated that at least 40% of Australia Australians will need to download the app. The apparently anonymous data can then be used by the authorities to assist with contact tracing. If someone is found to be infected with coronavirus, the authorities can use the data from that person's phone to work out who they have been in contact with. My question, if the data is completely anonymous, then how could they possibly work out who you've been in contact with? Sir, according to your app, you've come in contact with 15 people over the last three days. Oh, will you contact them and let them know that they might have coronavirus? Sorry sir, the data is completely anonymous and we have no idea who those people are. In other words, the data will not be anonymous. If it was completely anonymous, the app would be useless. Somewhere along the line, your anonymous ID will be matched with your real identity. At first, the government announced that the app will be completely voluntary, so I wasn't too concerned. But then, just last night, Deputy Chief Medical Officer Paul Kelly refused to rule out the app being made compulsory for all Australians at some point in the future. When talking to Triple M, Prime Minister Scott Morrison also left that door open. My preference is not to do that. My preference is to give Australians the go of getting it right. I don't want to be drawn on making it mandatory. I want to give Australians the opportunity to get it right. In other words, if we don't do it voluntarily, it's going to be made compulsory. No, thank you, Prime Minister. I'm not going to be monitored by you or anybody else. If it is made compulsory, how will it be enforced? Laws are only as good as their level of enforcement. Will police be allowed to approach people randomly and ask to see their phones? What if somebody lies and tells the police that they don't have a phone? What if somebody actually doesn't have a smartphone? Will people be forced to carry a phone around with them at all times? I can imagine it now. Excuse me sir, could you please show me your phone and open it up to the coronavirus contact tracing app? Sorry mate, I don't have a phone. Under Section 3.7 of the Coronavirus App Tracing Laws, we are legally allowed to search your person to find your phone and then force you to unlock it. Failure to allow us to do so will result in an immediate on-the-spot fine of $1,624, with repeat offences being punishable by up to six months in jail. Yes, this has got draconian written all over it. I doubt 40% of Australians will ever download this voluntarily. In Singapore, which is known for its strict laws and obedient population, only 20% of people have downloaded the app. Do they really expect 10 million Aussies, 40% of Australia's population, to download it as well? I just don't see it happening. Unless the government offer half-price pizza or fried chicken coupons within the app, I just think that most Aussies will just turn a blind eye. And just one more thing, and perhaps most importantly, if we do allow the government to trace our movements under the guise of protecting us from the coronavirus, will these apps just disappear once the coronavirus disappears? I doubt it. I think the government will find new reasons to keep us using it. For example, it could be used under the pretense of keeping us safe from criminal behaviour. I don't like it. It just doesn't sit right with me, and I've usually got a pretty good instinct about these sorts of things. What do you think? Is this app draconian? Is this just a way for the government to monitor our movements? Are we turning into a big brother state? Or am I being too harsh and perhaps a little bit overdramatic? Mm -hmm.